What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marine. I'm back out here on the lake and I'm actually headed up the lake to do a quick search and recovery. Uh, today I'm going after a pair of Oakley sunglasses that a really good friend of mine lost. Um, so I'm gonna head up here and he jumped right off the edge of his dock. So I'm gonna jump in and see if I can find him for him real quick. But I'm all by myself today. So this is gonna be a solo search and recovery. And I kind of want to walk you through the process of what I do. Anytime that I've got a search and recovery project like this, where say the witness or the person who lost the object is not here and basically I had to talk to him over the phone uh, or talk to him, you know, beforehand. Uh, and I, I want to show you exactly the process I go through to determine where I'm gonna start my search area based off the information he gave me. So I'm gonna head up the lake here and then uh, of course we'll get started and I'll walk you through the procedures. All right, so I got the boat docked up there and I've got the buoy placed in the water. And basically all I did was just determine how far out I could jump, assuming that's how far out he jumped. And I did it in the direction that he told me that he had jumped off in. And that's gonna be my reference point or my downline point. And then basically what I can do is just swivel around that point at the bottom, using that as a down or a reference line. Uh, and I can just swivel. I can do some circle searches based off what the bottom contour or the debris field is here. And I've made several dives around the stock before this is a, a repeat customer i guess you could say uh, I've, I've found several things for the property owner here so i already know what the bottom composition is going to be like i know what the contour of the bottom is going to be like so doing a circle search or half moon search is going to be uh, okay to do in this situation but as i make my descent here you're going to notice it is a little stirred up that's from where i initially dropped the uh, weight down uh, but it's starting to clear up fairly simple and i'll go ahead and tell you there's not going to be much to this video this is relatively easy search you might have already seen the glasses there just a quick little glimpse of them the camera picked it up but my eyeballs didn't quite pick it up but you'll see as a circle around this first time uh, it's just a, a quick little one little circle surge and then bam there's the sunglasses um, but there's the dive weight and about Nah, four or five feet away you'll see there's the sunglasses so a very successful search here and throwing that uh, buoy in where I could physically jump out uh, you know simulating where he would have jumped out really helped made it a very successful search um, I'm gonna give you some pointers here at the end of the video anytime you do search and recovery some of the questions that you should be asking your client uh, as far as what they were doing the activity how far out they jumped, things like that I'm gonna give you some pointers that really help me make my search and recoveries uh, become more successful and hopefully they will help you as well if you're doing jobs like this uh, or you're doing underwater search and recovery so let me get up here to the top and get geared down then i'll give you some final thoughts all right guys as you can see it was a very successful search it was a very very short search and i want to apologize for that i was really hoping there'd be more to it than what there was i wanted to make this video as educational as possible and kind of walk you through the procedures of how i set up when i'm by myself when the person who lost the object's not there how i set up the, the dive site or the search area and of course how i conduct the search now I, I believe i was very lucky in finding the sunglasses this time but to end this video i kind of want to go over some of the questions i asked someone who has lost an object in the water that helps me conduct a methodical and thorough search and hopefully a successful search anytime I come out and do this. So the first thing I ask is, of course, what were you doing? What was the activity? Was you on a jet ski? Was you on a boat? Was you jumping off a dock? What was the activity that we were doing? In this situation, the gentleman was jumping off the dock. So that gave me a good idea of how far my search area from the dock should have been based off how far I could have jumped off the dock. Yeah, he could have jumped a foot or more than what I could have, but you know, in, in general terms, how far I'm gonna jump out out is theoretically how far a normal human is going to jump out so that gave me my search area um, I usually ask do you know how deep it is do you know what the bottom composition the bottom contour or is there any debris in this area and that's very important for not just my safety but also the search pattern that I decide to use so I ask questions like that and then of course I'll also ask some awkward questions or maybe some uncomfortable questions such as hey when you lost them when you jumped off the dock were you intoxicated and I know that sounds crazy it might sound like I'm prying on his private uh, business business and stuff but basically what I'm doing is trying to determine whether the search area he has given me is the actual search area or not you know I've worked in law enforcement and the fire service for many many years and usually when we deal with someone who's intoxicated we don't always get a straight answer we don't always get the true story now the gentleman I got these for super nice guy I've met him multiple times um, and he wasn't intoxicated but questions like that is what I typically ask for when I'm out doing a search and recovery especially off a dock now like I said guys I know this 
this was a short video or a short search um, and I'm glad that it was successful I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more to it than what there actually was just for your guys sake just to make this video a little bit more educational but I, the takeaway here is anytime you do this you want to be safe but you want to get as much information as possible before you actually splash in the water but guys I'm gonna hop off here I gotta get back to the shop real quick if you like this video simply smash that like button for me and definitely share it if you got any questions please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can guys as always make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter like us on Facebook pin us on Pinterest subscribe to us here on YouTube and as always guys we appreciate your business Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.